Ayehu presents iShare, the world's first complete critical situation management solution. Designed to guarantee the availability of business critical systems, iShare automates critical event resolution. This is the iShare dashboard of John Smith, the IT manager of a major enterprise. Let's see how iShare helps them survive an actual business system collapse. Sitting on top of the monitoring systems, the moment iShare receives a critical alert, it displays the event on every iShare dashboard. At the same time, it initiates an automated workflow, contacting the person who needs to respond. In this case, it's Steve Bauer, the system administrator. Steve is informed by email and SMS. On his active log window, John sees the troubleshooting that iShare has already initiated. He sees it checked that this isn't a false alarm. Then it pinged the server, checked available disk space, and the status of the IIS service. John also sees that the system is now waiting for Steve to respond. If Steve doesn't respond within a preset time, then the system escalates the alert to the next level. This is Brian Parker's desktop. Brian's in the middle of writing an email, and in comes an instant message alert from iShare IM. The IM shows the event status and asks him to take ownership of the event. Brian takes control of the event by responding. The system logs Brian's response and changes his name from yellow to green on everyone's dashboard. iShare then offers Brian three optional actions. Reset the IIS service, restart the server, or escalate the event. Brian chooses to reset the IIS, which he does using iShare IM. On his active log, Brian watches as the system successfully executes the automated IIS reset. iShare then rechecks the status of the business portal. When it finds that the portal is back running as normal, it closes the event. As the event disappears from everyone's dashboard, all parties directly involved are notified that the service is restored. OK, now let's look at iShare behind the scenes. The moment the alert was captured, iShare initiated its automated workflow of preset activities. The workflow engine checked it wasn't a false alarm, then pinged the server, checked available disk space, and the status of the IIS service. The system then contacted Steve and escalated to Brian. When Brian responded, he was offered three options. iShare executed Brian's command to reset the IIS and close the event when the system was back to normal. Now let's see how simple it is to create an iShare workflow. Let's say I want to send an SMS alert if CPU usage goes over 70%. Using the iShare Studio, I open the execution section on the toolbox. I drag and drop a CPU cube into the workflow template. Here I choose CPU usage or availability and which server to check. Now I create if else options. This is where I preset iShare to alert if CPU usage crosses the 70% threshold. From Communication Tools, I drag and drop the Send SMS cube. Here I define who to send the alert to, in this case, to Jack. And I customize the message I want him to receive. Using the Close Incident cube, I also define that if usage is below 70% to close the event. Then I save the workflow, and it's in the system. As short and as simple as that. In just the same simple way, iShare can create intricate workflows covering even the most complex business situations. 
helping ensure your critical business situations are resolved as quickly as possible. Ayehu's iShare, improving quality of service, minimizing costs.